Hello everybody. Um, welcome to Handle Abra Games. Um, let me just make sure that we are live and it looks like we are. So I'll close that. Um, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube. Um, and all right, I, I have confirmation from the chat that um, I am in fact live and I will close this. All right, today we're gonna take a behind the scenes look at uh, implementing some UI elements for One Deck Dungeon. Uh, and the screen that I'll be working on today is the new game screen. So one thing that, um, that we do when we're se setting up a new game or a new screen for an existing game is um, I do a mock-up of what the UI layout for the screen is going to look like. Um, actually, I do many different versions of it, and then we pick, you know, whatever we think will work the best. So, the general idea that um, that we'll be working with today is that for the main menu, or for the sorry, the new game or the game setup screen, you'll pick a um, a dungeon and a hero, and they'll be in a scrollable scroll. Um, because you know there's going to be there's there's five in the core game but you know there's going to be more than five to choose from in the game ultimately so the um stub scene in unity um john set up looks like this right now so when i press play i have a scroll and it has a slot for each one of for each of the five heroes that are in the game so far um, and so my goal today is to make this screen look like this screen, like the mock-up. So, uh, I guess the, f well, I think the first thing that I will do because it will bug me is I will make the background a wall of stones or bricks, whatever you want to call them. And... Let's see, let's make sure I'm looking at the right, yep, that is the right one. It looks like it's stretching it, which isn't what we want it to do. We want it to tile. Yeah, ooh, wow, that's not right either. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. It's good enough for the moment. All right, so. Each, so this hero, this new game hero item is a prefab and it has spots, sl slots on it for, um, to put in the sprite libraries for various things. And so right now we have a label on it and an image. And the image, which is a check mark um, right now, is placeholder for, to show you which one is selected. So what I need to do is make a sprite library with the hero cutouts, like these guys here. So we have those images. Let's see, char ah. character cutouts. So we can try using them as they are, oops, I just clicked on the wrong thing. Although I'm probably going to end up adjusting them so they look right in the main menu, but. We 
can try putting them in like that. If I can remember where the create a sprite library is. <laughs> I know it's in here. I guess I haven't made it in a while. Why don't I see anything for it? I'm off to a good start. I can't even remember where how to make the new thing. Anyway, I can work on a different thing. All right, I'll work on another part of the screen in the meantime, um, which would be the label, because we want it to look like. Well, there's going to be different labels for the dungeon and for the hero, but that's okay. Um, I'll set up the hero ones and then we can, when I do the dungeon part, I will change them. Um, so, instead of operage, we will do Sika Bold with a color gradient. And I have a do do so the right here I have the gradient colors. All right, and that'll look great on top of the wood plank, which, uh, let's see, which one was I using? That one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new instance of the prefab to edit it. Oh.
So, we'll pretend that I didn't change that original one. So then when I change the, um, the one controlling prefabs, I press apply and it should apply to all of them, but if I brought another one in, it would now be, have the color, the correct colors on it, but that is unnecessary. Um, from the one. All right, so I want to add the wood plank image behind that. So I'll just add it in as an image. And I think we're going to want to have it fit to the size of the square that each of the heroes is in. So I will do that. And maybe like half as tall. Lower down in here. Too low. <sighs> Let's make a nice even number, and then the title label can go and can be inside of there. And it looks like the font size is going to be a little too big the way it is, so we'll make it smaller. Oh, that looks, it's looking about right. It could probably seem to be a little bigger. Um, it'll scale depending on, you know, what name is in there, but none of the, at least the initial hero names aren't real long. Um, so we have that as a starting point. So then can apply that and if I turn that off oops um, so when I press play now they should it has the names of each hero in the correct spot um, and all right And then let's see where that check mark is popping up. Yeah, see that is probably not the way we want it to show who is selected. Um, so I will go ahead and update that to something different. Um, you can try putting a highlight maybe on the whole thing. Uh, so if I do So I have some highlight images in here. He's using for very sussing. Well, we can try. We can try this one to start with. Oops. I forgot to press apply. Um. Well, it's not in the correct spot, but I think the general idea could work. Um, so, why, why is that not lining up? It looks like it's shifting it down in a strange way. Well, I guess for to begin with, it should be behind the wood plank, probably.
it's still showing up in front. So it's probably something that's happening in the code. Um, so I won't worry too much about that at the moment. Anyways. Taking off the sprite atlas. So the card image is what's going to control the heroes. And the card image sprite atlas. So we could probably make a sprite, just do a, try doing a sprite atlas with the uh, hero cutouts. Um, I did notice a, a question in the chat. Have we considered using a different engine than Unity? Um, and I don't have an answer for that. Um, if someone else from Handle ever wants to answer that question, and they're in the chat, go for it. Um, I mean, Unity is very useful because it'll ex export to, you know, a lot of different formats, um, which is one reason why it's so widely used. Let's call this new game here. Alright. And oh, that didn't do what I wanted to do. Lock that there. I don't think I can put these all over in here. Maybe. Yay! All right. So it did what we wanted it to do. And let's see if that just works. So we're calling that new game hero cutouts. And go back into the new game hero item prefab. And it does not card image. Right, because there's no image on here to populate. So we'll add one. We'll call it card image. zeros instead of ones. All right. And that's going to go behind all these other things. Um, I guess as a test, I can put in, let's see, I'll put in the paladin. So, yeah, the general idea is there. So now I'll go back to here. I'll say that is the card image. And now we can put in the atlas. And apply and see what happens. All right, so all, they're all showing up in the correct place, but they look a little bit uh, 
stretched out and there's some weird weirdness going on. So that means that one of the settings on the Sprite Atlas probably needs to be adjusted. Let's see. Yeah, there's probably not enough padding. How, let's see how big are these? Yeah, so these are these. I will need to make these smaller file sizes, but for testing purposes, we can just increase the padding. Actually, we can reduce that and see what. Let's see if that helps. All right, that looks a little bit better. Um, it looks like they're being stretched out vertically a little bit, but that could be an illusion. Um, another thing that you'll notice here is that the mage looks disproportionately small and the rogue looks disproportionately large. Um, in the mock-up, I you know, modified them in Photoshop to be about the same height or to be you know, relative to each other. Because the, the mage artwork has the staff that goes higher, so it forces her to be a little smaller in the space. Um, so I think that that's what I'll do now is go ahead and um, adjust those cutouts so they're more, more, more the right um, size relative to each other. So I will go into my files, and let's see, I don't remember if I have those already in a character cutouts. Alright, looks like I do have them in a file together. So yeah, so I think, so yeah, so the in here, as you can tell, they're kind of using the maximum space, but for the new game screen, we need them to be relative to each other. So I'm going to make a copy of this, and I'll call it character cutouts for the new game screen. It doesn't really, I mean, I can call it whatever I want as long as I'll remember, because this is a working file, it's not going into the project, but, um, so I think the one that is you know, is the trickiest to change is the mage because it has this extra bit sticking out. But it looks like I have room to make it s make the image slightly larger, so I will do that. I don't really want their feet to get cut off, um, so then I'll set all the other characters relative to the mage's size. So. Um, and let's see what size is. They're still 2048. We're going to make them a quarter of the size. We're going to make them 1024. Because they're just, they're going to be pretty small on the screen. Um, and I'll start saving those out in into the Unity project. So I'll make a new folder, character cutouts for the new game screen. And this is the mage. And I'll just double check that that's how they're named. Yeah, just, just with their name. All right, then I'll do the same for the other character. So like the archer looks a little bit too tall here. So. Maybe about there. Paladin. 
that is just a little bit too tall. I think I made the, the rogue was a lot shorter in that version. But I don't want to make two, you know, characters too short. Because it's, you know, it's nicer when they're bigger, they're easier to see. I feel like is kind of a bigger character. I think the warrior and the paladin are probably pretty similar in size. Yeah, I'll try that. And, you know, once we see how they look in Unity, if they're not right, I can always adjust them further once it's set up. Alright, so now what I will do is move the um, so there's the character cutouts, we'll run the character cutouts, new game. So I'm going to move the um, the sprite apps I made into the new game folder and update it. So I'll get rid of everything that's in there and we'll put in the new the new versions. I always forget to lock the um, lock it, the thing that needs to get the things dragged into it. Very technical terms, right? All right. So that looks looks about right. And let's press play and see what happens. All right. Um. Their sizes look a little bit better now, but the there's some weirdness happening. So let's let's take a look and see. I don't know. Maybe maybe this tight packing is a problem. Oh, that took care of one issue. Um, so one thing I'm noticing is like their feet sticking out at the bottom. So what I can do is move the nameplate a little bit lower in the actual, I guess I should probably name that. So I'm gonna tag that. So we're gonna call this the name. it down too far because um, we're going to have theoretically there'll be like a scroll wheel underneath there so not wheel scroll bar that's what this white thing is here I think yeah it's a scroll bar so we can't move the nameplate too low but I can move it down slightly so we'll say minus 80 and let's see if that looks any better Oh, and it looks like I covered up the the Twitch chat. Sorry about that. 
Although it doesn't look like getting a whole lot of comments in there at the moment. All right, so that looks a little bit better now. Um, I'm thinking I might want to move the rogue up a little bit. Um, I think it might look a little nicer. So let's try that. And go back into Photoshop. And let's scoot her up a little bit. Thank you, Migrant P, for your feedback. Um, all right, so that's a little bit, a little bit better there, you know some variations in their height um, because if I'm keeping this there I could theoretically make the mage a little bit bigger and cut off her feet at the bottom but um, I think I'm gonna leave them like this for now uh, gets the idea across and um, all right so that is one of the things um, another thing I noticed is there's this white box around them, um, which doesn't really need to be there, so I'll just turn the alpha off on that. Of course it's still there because I forgot to press apply on the uh, prefab. All right, now that's starting to look more like what uh, what we had in mind. Um, the next thing I'm going to adjust is the scroll. Um, so you'll notice it it kind of looks like the scroll is being smushed in. Um, you know, it looks it looks good in sixteen nine, but it's a little bit mushed in four three. So something that I did when I was setting up the main menu was um, broke the scroll into different pieces. So let's take a look at how that's looking right now. Okay, so it's just using the scroll image. So we can change that to be the scroll middle distressed version, um, which is not perfect. But it will get, well, hmm. I don't know if that's the way I want to do it. I might actually put, I might leave that in there as a guide for when I'm setting up the other scroll images. So I'll make this the scroll middle. Because we want it to be more or less where the other scroll is. Except centered. Yeah, that looks about right. Um, probably would look a little bit better with yeah ooh that is looking a little funny so there's still this white overlay over it um, and I actually kind of like the idea of having something to light in the middle um, but not with a hard edge so let's see where that is coming from that is the scroll view I believe that's this. Yes, it looks like it has this background image. So instead of the background image, let's try. Let's try just something like that. Oh, yeah. 
think maybe maybe not um so the image will just be this part the middle will just be this part and it I'll work on it some more to make it look more like the actual scroll but um is a working file I think it it'll get the it'll get the job done And then we need the end pieces for the scroll. Scroll end left. And then there'll be a scroll end right. Oh, and I accidentally made new text instead of new image. So that that would not look right. New image. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we want it to line up more or less with this um, and I think yeah so we can actually just set it to that height exactly and it, <laughs> it's about right um, and let's see if we're doing the width is 80 then we can set it exactly to the edge there It would probably help me us all visualize it if it had the right edge on it. So scroll end. All right. So as actually, when you look at it, it's not exactly right because um, it's very it's you know it's slightly different than the other version. But so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. So it looks like I'm gonna have to make this a bit longer. Which is all right. Um, I think I do want to preserve the aspect on it, though. So, aha, uh -huh. that's the problem. It needs to be wider. Yeah. Although that does look a little bit large. Let's take. Let's look at how I did it on the main menu screen. For comparison. So it looks like here it's a narrow, it's the scroll is much narrower than on the other screen. That's why it's longer and narrower. Okay, that's why it looks different. That's okay. So maybe it doesn't have to be exactly right. We can stretch it out a little bit. It needs to be long enough that it covers the whole scroll. So that's that's about right. Um, I think that'll that'll work at least for for now. Um, and it looks like I got it. Let's see, I'll make it. Nice even numbers. Which isn't necessary, but it just makes it easier for when I'm setting it up on the other side. So we're going to call this left and make a right side version of it. And for that, we can just set it to the other side. In reverse. So now we have a scroll, a scrollable, scro a scrollable scroll. Um, let's see how it looks with all the characters in it, and yeah, it you know gets the idea across. Um, 
Well, that's going to be an issue <laughs> if it's not stretching right in, you know, different aspect ratios, but that's an easy fix. So let's see why that's not happening. Because it's not anchored. So, so now it should scale correctly. Um, and actually, we don't want it to actually be let's see, we want it to be at 60, so it's in the middle of the side scrolls. All right. So we can see what that looks like. Okay, um, it's working. It the scrolls too far in from the sides because um, it's yeah it's doing that, but that's okay. We can change. We can fix that. It's because uh, I have the scroll view extending to the middle of the scrolls, which it should end about there instead. So, I'll just make it 120 instead of 60. Oh, no, that's not right. The scroll view. Is that right? Let's see. That doesn't have to be quite that far in. We can put it about there. Say 90. At least I think that's what was um, making it get cut off. Let's see if that works. Um, yeah, it's closer to the way it should be. But actually, I'm going to put it back the way it was because I can move, I'll just move these over a little bit further. Yeah, so that can actually be further out. Um, let's try it there. All right, so that so when it's in four three, they get cut off a little bit, and that's probably going to happen in sixty nine as well. But um, it doesn't really bother me too much. So why is the background stretching like that? So the heroes are looking more or less um, like they did here, uh, although I think I will need to make the scroll shorter to be able to fit, because I'm going to be putting two different, I'll be putting the dungeon scroll on here as well. So we'll scale those down. And actually, I think I can scale the... Um, the width of the scroll down a little bit too. It doesn't need to. So in the mock-up it didn't extend that far beyond the um, elements inside of it. So. And also thinking about I need to be able to fit two of these on the screen. So. Scroll middle. Let's just shrink it in. About 
there. I think that is reasonable. That's looking, I think that'll end up looking a lot nicer. And then we'll just make the other side match up. So it's Okay. Um, let's see. Yes. Um, if I didn't say who I was, I am Jennifer or Jen. Um, I may have forgotten to introduce myself, and I apologize. Okay, I still want this to not get cut off where it was getting cut off, so I'm going to move it in a little bit more. Yes, Cartoon Jen is my Twitter handle and my Twitch handle. and using various places so so that I think that's about where I want it um, I could probably make them make the middle a little narrower if I need to but let's let's see what it looks like when there's two scrolls on the screen so uh, there's also the start game button in the middle there which is gonna need to get moved down but that is not a problem Just move that wooden button down there. All right, so the hero scroll will be about you know, somewhat somewhere in that area. And the second scroll will be above it. Now it looks like they're looking a little bit crowded. So one other option I could do is make these scroll end pieces not stick out as far on the bottom. And I think that that might be the way to go um, for the screen. So before I go any further, I will do that. Somewhere in here I have the scroll in pieces. Scroll in. Yeah, here's a scroll in. There it is. Okay. And let's move make this window be in the correct spot. Alright. And I'll just I'll make a copy of this. I'll call it scroll in for a new game screen. So I think what I'm going to do is cut off the, um, the scroll right there to make it fit better. Hey, look at that. Of course, now it has a hard edge, which is not ideal. So 
all this filling in. Oh, yeah. Alright, it's not perfect, but it will serve our purposes at least for today. So I will go ahead and put it into here. And I think we might still want to keep the longer scroll ins for the main menu screen, but. Which folder did I put them in? I don't think they're in common. No. Um. Okay. So we're gonna call it scroll in shorter. Oh, it is in the testing folder, I just, yeah, which is where it belongs. Let's see if this looks, works any better for, uh, for purposes of this screen. So, I'm actually going to remove that for the moment and go back in. Yeah, I think that that will work a little bit better for this screen. All right. One thing, one other thing is the box here that says choose hero or choose dungeon. Um, I don't know if I love the sprite or the image that I was using there, but it'll work. Um, at least for now, I can always, well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it looks. So, um, yes. So it'll go about here. Doesn't have to be too too big. Um, let's see. Is it using that one? What images are in here? Oh, there's all sorts of stuff. those. Ooh, that's kind of cool. But, um, yeah, we could use a scroll, but I think that might be confusing. Um, I also have a button. Where's the button? Yeah. I don't know if that looks right. So I think the mock-up was using something along those lines. No, actually, I'm not sure if it was that one. It may have been some version of things that I didn't actually put into the project yet.
so we'll put it like this for now. And actually, I might like the brighter color better than the way it is there. Although, maybe not quite that bright. Let me tone it down a bit. And add a label onto it. This is the choose label, we'll call it. And we're gonna say choose brew. And I believe that it's using, yeah, it's also using Sitka. And let's make it fit in the box. Of course, I put it in. Okay, it's not, it needs to be a little bit more in and we want it centered maybe a darker color perhaps just to see how it looks I'm going to try making this a wooden box um, without the, you know, probably, oops, because like these ones have little thingies sticking out. I'm going to try it with just a plain wooden panel. You know, I think I might like that better. Um, and then there's an off-white color I was using in various places. <laughs> no, not the not the name, not the text that's in the box, the color of it. All right. Yeah, I think that that's starting to look like a like a screen. Um, the scroll middle image, I'll. I think you still need some work, but um, the idea is there. So, just make some more adjustments to this box. I know what's wrong. It should be small caps to match everything else. All right, now it's looking. All right, I feel better about it now. All right, now we're ready. I think we're ready now to make the uh, choose dungeon scroll. All right, so. I think for to keep things easier to understand, scroll image heroes, and then there'll be scroll image dungeons. Um, let's see. Okay. So let's see what happens if I just duplicate it and put it equally high. Eh, <laughs> that was a nice thought. So. It's, it's a tight fit. It's going to be a tight fit, but that's okay. Let's look at it full screen. Let's see how it looks. Okay. There. Touch. 
stretching, which I'll space them out a little bit more, but I think it'll work. I think it'll work. And uh, I'll move the bottom one down a little bit more. The scroll image dungeons. All right, um, so. Yeah, the general idea is in there. Um, yeah, I may have to play with the spacing to not have such a big gap in the middle here. Uh, I guess the obvious thing would be to move the label up, but... Thinking. Or narrow things, but I think the, I think it's okay. For, for now anyway. Um, I can probably move move this up a bit. Alright, so this is obviously not hooked, not connected correctly up there. So let's let's see what's going on with the dungeon scroll image. So it has the new game hero item in it, and I don't know if there's a new game, yeah, there's not a new game dungeon uh, item yet, so we're going to make one. Um, let's see, how am I doing on time? Oh, it's two o'clock already. All right, so then I'll probably um, start wrapping things up after I do that. So that's what the new, the new game hero item and we'll rename it new game dungeon item and make that into a prefab down here and it needs to be a separate prefab because now when I you know if I do something to it it will only affect the one that's the dungeon one not the one that's the hero one and all right, so I guess that hero one doesn't need to be, doesn't need to be in here at all now. We can just use the dungeon one. And so I don't get confused, I will go ahead and change the image to one of the dungeons. Let's make it the dragon's cave image, the dragon image because that is the first dungeon that has been implemented. I don't know. It doesn't have to be it, but... So... Yeah. We're going to preserve aspect on it because we want that to be a square. So the way I have it laid out in the mock-up... Um, they're kind of embossed in there. Um, so I'll probably... So I'll need to make those... If we want to keep that look, I'll make um, new images for them, but um, for getting the layout in, I can leave it like, we, I can just use this image, um, but it should be, but I will make it smaller because um, we'll want there to be some space in, in it. So, because if I have a bunch of them, we want there to be like a you know, some space in between the the dungeon images. And another thing is this nameplate is not going to be the same for the dungeons. Necessarily. Because um, they are they are a little different, so I can just turn that well 
turn the image off and move it down. And it's not going to be a gradient, it's going to be black. At least I think it's entirely possible that I have those as um, a different color. And actually, because the dungeon cards have different um, colors on them, it might make sense for the labels to have different colors too. Um, which will be a thing that we'll need to get what well, we'll need to get implemented um, at some point. I think I have the colors listed somewhere for. Let's see. What's off screen right now is I have my copy of One Deck Dungeon here, and I'm looking at the the card for the cards for the different dungeons. Yeah, so the Dragon's Cave font's kind of a greenish color. So I'll make this a little bit greenish. And I'll update it with the correct color later on. But actually I'd rather leave it black rather than having the wrong color in there. Um, so let's see. Let's see how this looks. So obviously they won't there won't be four pictures of dragons. They will be the different dungeons. I think the general layout um, is starting to be starting to look like starting to look like uh, what the new game screen for One Deck Dungeon will be. All right. And the dungeon names are a little bit longer than the hero names. Um, so they probably will end up being smaller text so they fit. But okay. Let's see, do I want to want to apply the changes to that? Um, Yeah, and it has the hero card view script on it, so I'll need to be make need to make a script for the dungeon card view. But I don't think um, I'm gonna have time to get that all done during the stream today. Um, so I think that I will, you know, this is probably as far as I will take the um, the um, new game screen today. But I can. Uh, I can show you what the gameplay is looking like before I sign off. Um, so I'll go back to the main menu. In case uh, anyone missed it at the beginning of the stream, um, there's a little mouse running around, and I'll do quick play. Yeah, let's give it a try. And I just, all right, here's a monster that worked out nicely. Um, I was, I'm just doing the one peril and monster and then I'll call it a day. But, um, yeah, so you can see, I don't know. I mean, it's exciting to, you know, be able to actually play the game. Uh, All right. 
right, and then yeah, my hero took some damage. All right, so <laughs> oh, okay, I guess I, I kind of want to do one more. Uh, I even though I said I was just doing 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 the two, I'll do one more. Let's see who it is. All right, I got a uh, a force wall. Ooh, I'm not ready for this. Uh, I guess I'll try to blast through it. I think I will fail. Unless I roll really well. Oh, that's right. I'm level two now, so actually, if I had rolled better, I probably could have done it. But I'll just put them all in there because it's fun to put the dice in the, in the box. Yay, all right. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. All right. So that is. Here's a uh, beetle. <laughs> well. I'm not even gonna be able to get the all the <laughs> hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna. All right, Beetle says it is time to stop playing. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you for joining me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the stream, and uh, and. Yeah, have a great afternoon and rest of the day, everybody. And I will sign off. Thank you again.